Hello everyone. Hi Anna. My name is Sean. I am in the, the Highlands of Scotland. I am 58 years young. Pissed off. Happy. Pissed off. Happy. Pissed off. <laughs> you know, where are we? Happy or pissed off? Yesterday, I went into a shop, a builder's merchant's, uh, not far from where I, I live. It's quite a big builder's merchant's. I've been using them for the last five years, the small job that I have in maintenance. So I goes in, I didn't have a face mask on. Uh, the woman behind the counter, who I've known for five years, starts shouting at me, obscenities. Where's your effing face mask? Get out. Don't come back in until you're wearing one. I don't have one. I'm not interested. You know? Why are you not wearing one? I'm not wearing one because I am behind a screen, was her rhetoric. Behind a screen, I say. What? This two foot by two foot screen, which barely covered her mouth, was here. There was three of them in a space of 30 feet with 10 inches, 12 inches between them. And one screen to the other at the end of the counter, to another counter, was 10 feet. But she thought she was safe behind the screen. Ludicrous. Two guys approached me within the build in the shop. In the merchants, in the shop, either side, two guys wearing masks, shouting obscenities also. Who the F are you? You're going to infect us. So inconsiderate. Get out, get out. Raus. Raus, mensch. Incredible. Horrible. I left. Saddened and sick by it all. Five years I've been going there. One of the one of the, the, the lassies, the one of the girls behind the counter, another one, started shouting at me, My mother's a nurse. She knows. Knows what? Knows what, I thought. I don't want to die, she said. Are you bloody crazy? Has the world gone crazy? We are behind the screen. Remember, the screen. People, please wake up. Anna, you're doing a great job. Many others out there, many others, doing fantastic work on this. It can't go on. It really cannot go on. Enough is enough. It has to stop. The government has to stop it. Somebody has to stop it. Something has to stop it. We all have to stop it. What are the media doing? What are they doing? The narrative that's portrayed. The ridiculousness of it. I mean, I've been fortunate. I am very fortunate because out there where I stay, I just have hills, trees. It takes me 20 minutes to go into town, into the village of a several thousand people. That's it. Small village. My life carries on normally here. I don't have TV. I haven't watched TV for 15 years. I don't read newspapers. My choice. And that is it that currently is a bloody good choice. Please, I implore you all, brothers, sisters, because we all are together in this. It will affect us all no matter what. It's to wake up, to take others' hands and lead them out of this bloody darkness, this veil of craziness that the people, these people are creating. What the heck? 
What about their goddamn children? Did they not see it? Oh, before I go off in my own bloody anger. <sighs> Thanks. Let us be strong. Come on. <laughs>